second down. That leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. For a first down and then some, 36 yards. How about this first quarter for them throwing the football? This defense has zero answers for what they've seen so far with the ball in the air. I'm not sure how they're going to change things around, but offensively, I keep attacking. I keep throwing the football until they make me change. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Gets around him. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because, let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. Play action. Now Jackson. He's going deep for Brown. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And there shouldn't be any surprise at all when we watch him flash his arm. Easy motion, easy action, and that ball flies downfield. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Off the play fake. Here's Jackson. He gets it to Brown, complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 25-yard line. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. On that catch, he's already eclipsed 100 yards here in the first quarter. Charles, he's on pace for over 400. And playing with great confidence, isn't he? I think he probably had it coming into the game, and now that he's really come out of the game... And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. 25 yards, and the Ravens will add on to their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was, that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight ball. You got to make sure they just hold in there. Survive the early storm, relax a little bit, and try and get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. John Harbaugh thought... are going to go for the two-point conversion. They'll try and run with Ingram. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. They get the conversion, and Charles, when you only have two yards to go, what do you think of the toss play? Because initially it kind of sets you back a little bit. It does, especially if you get a lot of pressure coming towards you. But if you can get to the edge, if you seal the edge with your blocking, often your tackle or your tight end on what they call the play side where the ball goes, you can get to the corner, and that allows those big guys to get out ahead of the runner. First and 10 at their own 25-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On first down, Mahomes. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Second and 10. Humphrey on the coverage. the gun it's Mahomes looking for Hill again this time it's complete and he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter 15-0 our score it's the NFL on EA Sports and this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage officially it's a one-yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 and 11 at the 36-yard line. On second and 11 now. Mahomes. 
That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards on the play, first down. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Second down. Well, someone's been up to the task so far in this game. They are already up a couple of scores, Brandon, and guess what? I think they're just going to pin their ears back now and get up field, get after the quarterback. It's been such an impressive first half to get that lead. So after the sack here, second and 14. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Complete to Travis one thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. First down, Chiefs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Now here's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Kelsey. I know it's a little bit of a cliche to talk about all the tight ends who are really wide receivers in the NFL, but Travis Kelsey fits that perfectly. He led all tight ends last season with over 1,200 yards receiving, fourth in the NFL. I think he's one of the gold standards in the league for the tight end position, and I don't know if anyone has any more fun playing the game than Travis Kelsey. It'll be a two-yard game. remaining in this first half of football. They'll pass up a field goal attempt. It would have been a 45-yarder. Now they'll go for it on fourth. They run. It's Williams. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. Well, they deemed it four down territory, and they got four yards to pick up the first. First down. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Three yards the game there, second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Mahomes dropping one to Williams here. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Damian Williams. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Mahomes now to throw. They complete it to Hill. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. An eight-yard pickup. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Mahomes now on first down. That's complete to Williams out of the backfield. Mahomes not able to go anywhere that time. Second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. This will be caught just inside the 10. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. And again, it's Mahomes. 
And that is caught by Watkins for a chief touchdown. To Sammy Watkins. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes of a half, heading into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, a full half to be played at their own 24-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. Escaping the pressure right. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They go play action now. Jackson fights him off, but in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Jackson sacked. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. Thirteen yards remaining on second down. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. And this is caught, a spectacular one-handed grab there. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 41-yard line. And just like that, on we head to half number two. The Super Bowl champs trailing here, but they will get the ball first to begin quarter number three. Well, certainly not what they wanted out of the locker room here as they'll start defensively at the 40-yard line. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it's just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. To throw, it's Mahomes. This is caught by Williams. And he can only manage to get this to the 45-yard line. Well short of the first. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. And how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. On the tackle, Tyron Matthew. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. Again, they'll run with Ingram. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Raven. First and ten at the 46-yard line. Play action. It's Jackson. Oh, incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. It's second down. We're in Baltimore. Third quarter action. Second and ten. 
They run. It's Mark Ingram. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. The gain of eight brings up third and two. Ingram again. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. It's a pickup of six. First down, Baltimore. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And there's a quick throw caught by Andrews. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. One yard line. But normally, you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Lamar Jackson hooking up with Mark Andrews. And the Ravens will extend their lead. A year ago, Lamar Jackson led the league in touchdown passes with 36, and many of those went to his tight end, Mark Andrews, who went to the Pro Bowl in his second season in the league. He led all tight ends with 10 receiving touchdowns in 2019. Many people argue that he's Jackson. go-to guy I say there's no doubt that that is his main target and he goes to him again for a touchdown connection and the lead is up to 15 now so that lines up a seven play drive all told and it's capped off by the Baltimore score Justin Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown And that's fielded on the back line of the end zone. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points big time. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams had a five-yard gain as he's down inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Ball carrier. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. From the 28, it's second and five. Looking to throw is Mahomes. That's complete to Robinson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. It's a game of but one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first down, Williams. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Second and 12 at the 20-yard line. Again, it's Williams. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain that time, and it leaves him with third and 11 coming up. Brings up third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing his Mahomes on third. And that is incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And the Ravens are going to get the football back. 
The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. A real chance for them to salt this game away after that turnover on downs, holding a two-score lead in the fourth quarter. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Derek Nutty on the tackle. It's a pickup. They'll keep it on the ground. Ingram. And he'll get about three as he takes this up near the 25. The Ravens on third down. A perfect four for four thus far. This is third and four. They'll fake the give to Ingram. Now Jackson. He's got his man. It's Andrews. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. That's good for a Baltimore Raven. Now that's a big pickup right there. And so often we focus on how the quarterback's faking up play action. How about everyone being in on the deal and picking it up? Second, third levels. You can see them trying to recover. They bit. Worked out offensively. Game room the ball carrier. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Looking to speed things up here. Going with some tempo. They'll keep it on the ground. Ingram. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave them with third and still seven yards to go. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where there'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down the game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple down inside the 35 to the 34. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Ingram. The Ravens on third down. Can't be any better than a perfect six for six. This is third and four. Brings up third and four. Jackson from the shotgun. And he's got Snead. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 15-yard line. Jackson to Sneed that time. First down, Baltimore. Now Ingram. He's been busy today. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Four yards remain on second down. Ball on the 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Ingram. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And now right out of the two-minute break. We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run here with Ingram. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. Second and goal from the six this time. Out of the gun, they give to Ingram. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Mark Ingram, his second touchdown of the afternoon as the Ravens push further out in front. Is it okay if I break one of our rules, partner, which is to never call a game over until it's over? Because this certainly feels like it's over after that drive. Yeah, that was spirit crushing, wasn't it? And now you can—you just kind of felt the air go out of the balloon. Yeah, they were fighting so hard to stay in there, and they knew they had to stop them on that drive. But when they were unable to, I think you're exactly right. You could see them sag on their sideline. And I think this one might just be over. Only had a couple of yards to gain there on the two-point conversion, and they were able to do it. And how many teams shy away from running the football the two-point conversion? They treat two yards as if it were 20. If you're a good team running the ball, go to your strength. Go ahead and push it into the end zone. Yeah, they did. It worked. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. 
Field it in the end zone. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. 25-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take it the next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And a coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Mahomes looks to throw on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. And despite the late lead, Jackson to throw. Sneed's got it. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The end result, 21 yards. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Taking it in from 11 yards out. And this offense is running away with this one. And not a surprise at all for Lamar Jackson to find the end zone. He did it five times as a rookie, seven times during his MVP season a year ago. And that's a little bit of a surprise to me because I would have thought he would have scored more. Had over 1,200 yards rushing, set a new record for quarterbacks in the NFL. But still, seven touchdowns, he's awfully elusive. And now once again, they'll line up to go for two. They'll try and run with Ingram. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. That keeps the score. Ravens, 36. Chiefs, 7. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Taken in the end zone. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 35, eluding the pressure right. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. First down, Mahomes. It's Hill, complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. So three plays, already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory, and they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and, hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's